guys, what is up? Today I thought I was gonna wait until I showed you my old bedroom once it was completely empty. But um, I'm officially moved, but the stuff that was in this room is down there. We're waiting for someone to come pick it up. So um, I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my new bedroom. So let's go take a look. So y'all have seen that room. That's the Green Museum. I call it the Green Museum. It's museum, whatever. So it's, y'all seen this one, so. But this room over here is the my new bedroom. Everything's upstairs. So um, this is my new bedroom. Are y'all ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. This is it, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna close this door. I got the heat on. So, there's some of my things that were downstairs. All of the stuff was downstairs. Here's my desk where I filmed some of my videos. And here's the Kmart section. Got all of my lovely Kmart stuff. So that's nice. My Craftsman 1994 calendar and 2002 Kmart bear and the old ornaments from Kmart. Some more Kmart stuff here. The price scanner sign that came from Clemens. This came from Kmart on Western Boulevard in Raleigh. There's another Kmart thing. So um, all sales final, that came from Kmart on Six Forks Road in Raleigh. So here's my desk and my chair. And here's my TV and my blue light special. Had to bring that up here. You know, I haven't had this TV too long. It wasn't downstairs in my old bedroom long because I had just gotten it and then I moved up here. Here's some of my family video stuff. Uh, I've done, yeah, I've told y'all about family video, so I don't need to go into that today. I'm going to bore y'all to death. So, um, and I've got this here. There's one over there too, right there. Because tomorrow is going to be one year. I'm going to post about it on Facebook too, I do believe. One year since the Kmart and Raleigh closed where this blue light came from uh, on Six Forks Road. So, these are my closets. From These are my dressers here, but from here down, that's my uncle's stuff. I, we haven't gotten all of his stuff out of here yet. And here's the main closet, but that's not mine. It's got stuff in it, and there's the attic. Um, I have my own attic. It's in the hallway. Um, but, uh... So, yeah, this is it. Um, these are my closets, and I love the built-in dressers. So, the house was built in the 50s, so, um, but this was added. This up here was, like, redone later, probably in the 60s. So, here's some stuff. Uh, these came from my grandma Goners. I actually filmed a YouTube video at her house. It's been abandoned for years, but um, I, I decided not to upload it because, one, it's, you know, kind of private property. It's not on. I don't want anyone going in there. And, um, I think my dad cussed in that video, too, and I just didn't feel like having my editor edit it out. Uh, I still gotta learn. I, I don't, I try not to cuss for that reason, because I don't, I'm not really good at editing out cuss words, and I don't like cussing anyway. I just don't do it. So, um, yep. So, I mean, here's some, that sticker was on my door downstairs. I saved it. My Kmart sign, price drop from Family Dollar. That came from the actual Montgomery Herald in Troy. Um, there's a vintage clock, my nightstand, and this is my bed from downstairs. So, um, yep, I gotta get some dark, uh, blackout, dark out shades, whatever those things are called. So, um, yep, I, I don't keep my, um, I was gonna put my bassets out. They used to be, that tour chest used to be over here. It's full of my stuff. Um, and then I just stacked them up to keep a little, you know, to keep it open. So, um, yep, there's a good shot of the desk right there. My Heiligmeyer sign. My Radio Shack telephone. As you can see Radio Shack. They were an endangered company. I think they're fine now. I think they've been bought out. So, um, yep. And my Montgomery Ward, uh, bank. So I'm um, in my Eckerd. My papaw, uh, my pa papaw, yeah, he worked at Eckerd. I never met him, so I started collecting Eckerd stuff. It was a pharmacy. They, um, Rite Aid bought them out in 2007, and then Walgreens bought out Rite Aid, so there's not too many Rite Aids. Um, they're not all closed. You may have one close near you, but, so. 
And I use this radio. I was just listening to it before I filmed this video. And this is not trash. This is for a friend of mine. I'm just letting y'all know I do not keep trash laying around my room unless I'm sick. And, you know, I just don't feel like getting it up. But I do try to keep my room spotless, as you can see. So, um, that's just something I do. So, um, let me step out here in the hallway and give you a full look of the whole room. See, this is all my stuff out here, too. This door won't open all the way, so. Here's a little shot of it. So, I'll do this. Go like this. And I'll go around. It's a really big room, actually. I love it. But I'm a little concerned when summer comes around because there's wasp and hornets up there and tons of spiders. So but, uh, we'll do something about that, hopefully. Get all them spiders and wasp out of here. And I'm still finding cobwebs from this past summer. I'm trying to get them all out of here. But that's not what we're focusing on. I'm just trying to... Uh, make it through winter because this is all I have for heat this little thing right here and that um, window unit is for summer and then when summer comes around we're going to be praying because <laughs> I don't want to get stung by any wasp or hornets up here uh, they don't come in too often it's just once one every now and then or two so on but yep this is pretty much it this is my new bedroom and like I said if I can um, my old bedroom is going to become the guest room so, um, I don't know if I'll have time to film it before my grandma turns it into her guest room. But, um, if I can, I will film it one last video there, um, to put it, to, to put it up so y'all can see my bedroom completely empty, except for my dresser, because I didn't take it. Um, so, I think I'm going to hang my JCPenney sign there. Uh, we got to do, we can't hang it from the ceiling because they're, these um, ceiling tiles that are very fragile and they come down easily. So um, this one over here is coming down. So, um, but anyway, I think that's gonna do it, y'all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, guys, take care and stay cool. I'll see you on the next adventure.